how are you positioned to take everything that's coming in, all these new people, these new eyes and ears, and keep them there? Welcome once again, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, one and all, to a brand new edition of The Quinn Spin. I'm your host, The Quinn. At least that's how I'm known here on the program, and I'm back for the first time in 2024 for the official podcast of Underground Music Collective, and you just heard Revel 9's All i Become. That's been our opening theme song here at The Quinn Spin since the great year of 2014. It's going to be 10 years this year. And it will be until the end of days. And Happy New Year. Thank you for joining us. Excited to be here with you once again. Hope you all had a safe and happy and restful holiday season. But now we turn the page and we turn it to 2024. Last year, I did a whole New Year's episode on smart goal setting for the new year to start things off for you. I'm not going to repeat that, but I do encourage you, of course, to go back and listen to that episode if you're interested in learning about how to set smart goals so you can achieve your resolutions this year. But I actually want to go somewhere different with this episode here today because I had the opportunity to do something really cool for New Year's Eve. Uh, we, Underground Music Collective, were invited to cover Nashville's Big Bash. Of course, that was the big thing downtown. It aired on CBS. Uh, Lainey Wilson, Leonard Skinner, Thomas Rhett, L. King, of course, Daisha McBride and Tim Gent from the hip hop community here in Nashville as well. Just a tremendous night, tremendous opportunity to be there and, you know, have this platform, this thing that started with this podcast that you're listening to that I started in my parents' basement, like to go from there to covering an event of that magnitude was really a first of its kind experience and something that I definitely hope to do more of. Uh, but with that too, you know, we had the chance, of course, I had the chance to be in the pit, take photos, get video. And I'm noticing now a lot of the videos that I got, you know, the just YouTube shorts are right here on this channel. If you're watching it, you can go and watch those videos. They're going viral. I mean, we have several videos that have received upwards of a thousand views and counting from that night, from those performances. And it's crazy to see the channel, the YouTube channel taking off like that. You know, we've never quite experienced that before here at UMC. And it's something that I definitely don't want to take for granted, you know, because these opportunities, these moments don't always come by. And when they do, you've got to capitalize on them. Right. And it got me thinking about a question that I get from artists and conversations I've had, you know, that question is, well, how do I go viral? How do I have that viral moment? As though, that moment is, as a standalone is going to bring them to the fame and fortune fortune and superstardom that they desire, right? A single moment won't do it for you. A single viral moment is just that. It's a single moment. But it's important to consider what you have in place, ready to go, so when that moment does come, you are ready to welcome that audience in. How are you engaging these new people that are coming into your platform? How are you inspiring them to follow the trail to learn more about you, to learn more about your music, your brand, anything that you might have for sale, like music, merch, tickets, other experiences, right? Some of you are authors out there, you have books, right? How are you taking that one viral moment and turning it, turning it into something more, taking that momentum from that moment and using it to grow your platform, to expand your reach and to grow your impact. One of my favorite examples from recent memory is Gail, uh, who you might remember a few years ago, released that single A, B, C, D, E, F, U. It was huge, huge single. We actually had a chance to work with Gail in October, 2021 on our Dark Masquerade event over at what was Mercy Lounge, now it's Cannery Hall. And a few weeks later, Gail and that song went viral on TikTok. However, Gail was already signed to Atlantic. She already had a team and systems in place. So when that moment came around for her, she was able to capitalize it, on it. And ever since then, you've seen her grow and grow and grow. I mean, a couple months after that, she was on Jimmy Fallon. She recently had a bunch of tour dates with Taylor Swift, who you may have heard uh, has been on this massive tour for the entire past year. And, and it continues even this year. 
Gail took that viral moment that she had with that song and she had the systems in place. She had the team in place. She had everything already humming. So when that moment came, she was able to carry the momentum forward, right? So you, in your independent artist, independent creative way, how are you positioned to capitalize on a moment that expands you in the public consciousness, right? How are you positioned to take everything that's coming in, all these new people, these new eyes and ears, and keep them there? That's what I'm going to offer you today, because that's something that right now I'm finding we have to do, you know, with all these new eyes, all these new ears coming into UMC. The question is, how do we get them to stick around? And they might have come there from Leonard Skinner. They might have come there from Lainey Wilson, Thomas Rhett, El King, whomever, right? How do we get them to follow the trail to discover all of the music that the artists who submit to us every day are putting out? How do we get them to engage with our events? How do we get them to pass our educational or membership offerings along to the creatives that they know, right? That's something for me to figure out. But you need to figure out where you want to subscribe, follow, like, share, and comment on the show. Of course, follow The Quinn Spin. We are on Spotify. We are here on YouTube if you're watching. We're on Apple Podcasts. We're in a whole bunch of places and more to come here in 2024. We're also on Instagram at Quinn Spin Official and threads at Quinn Spin Official, as well as TikTok. Finally got that TikTok, the Quinn Spin, two ends and Quinn, two ends and spin. You can also follow Underground Music Collective on all of those platforms and more. UMCNashville.com is our central hub for all things independent music, creativity, community, and more. And the UMC 20 playlist is back as of this past Tuesday, January 2nd, 20 fresh tracks and our last episode of 2023 is on there right now with our friend Lauren Gomance of Soul Fit Counseling. Soul Fit Counseling. I'm not editing that, but yeah. All right, a little rusty today, but I'm going to get out of here. Rebel Nine's all become. I'm going to take us out like it brought us in. Grab some muffins on your way out. <laughs>